We're going to talk today about vinyl. I'm not going to cover the 78s. Those are a whole different ball game. That's another drama that we'll go into later. But those are the kind that break and they're about this size. We're going to talk about the kind that we used to buy in Jimco. These are your LPs. 33 and a third. And they're really making a comeback right now. Um, every age group is starting to collect vinyl, as they call it. They don't call it records or LPs. They call it vinyl now. And you can find it everywhere. It's very collectible. More and more people are buying record players. So let me talk a little bit about what you may see and some of the high-end things to look for. Okay, the piece de resistance, as they say, is this particular album. Beatles, to Yesterday and Today. This is what they call the Butcher album cover. And this is very famous because when this record came out in the 60s, they put this, somebody had the cute idea to put these little baby parts, like they're butchered babies and stuff on here. And so people like started freaking out. So they retrieved all these. And then they, what they did was they took this album and they slapped this cover on them. So there's three different or four different or five different machinations of this album. There's the original Butcher album, which is worth, could be worth up to about $1,500. So if you see this album, buy it, buy it. Expert Philip, buy it. If you see this album, this one could be worth something too, but this one is one that may, I have to look, but they, some of them have a label on it. Some of them don't. Some people actually tear the label off. But the one after that is this one is the only label. So you have three different versions right here to be aware of. If there's a label under here, it looks like that. Buy it. Excellent. Very famous. 